Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here on the Citadel server just outside of the West Hill build, which is of course the uh, giant town that we've been building over the last three and a half years. And we're going to pick up where we left off on the Lilac Farm just outside of the North Gate. Pick up uh, where we left off on Tuesday, I guess. Big thank you to Mind Trip Media for 100 bits, Blank Benji for 100 bits, and Dan Grice tipped $20 as a late birthday present. Dan, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, everyone, but thank you, Dan. That's, that's very, very cool. I really appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Welcome in, folks. Dan, Obu, Cosmic Blast, Jordan, lots of regular people. Blank Benji, of course, hanging out in the chat. So my inventory is still full from all of the gardening that we were doing last time which was all of this stuff out front. And we stopped short of doing a lot of textures on the ground. So we haven't done anything there. I think I do want to try and change this into some sort of stone path. So that might be the first thing that we do. Uh, and then maybe we'll switch over and start to work on the wall. Because I think the wall is something that really needs to be thought through in terms of how we're going to do it. We've got a couple of ideas down here, but I think we can probably improve on that. And uh, obviously, the sun's going down. We're going to have to change things around here. So let's get rid of the green things because we don't need those right now. I'll keep the moss because I think we're going to need some of that. I need to make some more green concrete powder, it looks like. that stuff away. Don't think we need the hoe right now. Joker, welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. All right, probably kill the shaders. Get back to business. And I guess I'll get rid of these. I do want to keep some of this stuff, though. Pick up some more stone. Cobble, got mossy cobble. Bricks, stone brick stairs. So it's probably going to be easiest to just go through and uh, tweak the path. Do I have bricks? Ah, I've got cracked deep slate. I want cracked stone. Let's grab some more fuel. Might as well just do a couple of stacks. All right, I think that should be good. How are you feeling better than last week? I uh, feel fine. Uh, my voice is pretty hoarse. I'm still dealing with a lot of like post nasal stuff from being sick, but um, I was also out at the pub last night a bunch of the guys got together for some uh belated birthday stuff uh by the way cosmic thank you very much uh alistair was out last night and gave me uh the gift that uh, uh you and he and I don't, I don't know if anybody else i think it was just you and he uh put together i really appreciate it and here's the funny thing uh i got together with my father this morning for a costco run so 
the timing was something that Alistair and I laughed about. It's pretty funny. Barbecue season is indeed upon us. Uh, but yeah, I was at the pub last night for three and a half hours, I guess. So that's probably why my voice sounds pretty rough. So I'm going to take this, I think, in here, at least for now. And then we'll switch over to uh, stone brick. And we'll do textures on this later. I just want to get it all in. And see how it looks. Once we add textures, I think it'll look pretty good. I also think, did I bring, no, I did bring slabs. I was gonna do slabs up here, but didn't have them. Uh, this I want to change. Peanut butter sacks, you just went to the pub as well? Cool. I really, I'm, I know it's not going to matter for most of the people watching because of course you're not local to Dartmouth, but uh, Battery Park is a very, very cool spot. Uh, I should have taken a photo, but uh, you know how in a, in a pub, like a microbrew pub, there'll be a number of taps on the wall and they have like 13 or 16 taps or something crazy. And the head of every tap is a plastic or carved it might i don't think it was wood but it was certainly a uh it looked like it might have been a 3d printed um head but each head was from like a different nerdy thing like there was a stormtrooper helmet i feel like there was a darth vader helmet there was uh one of the multi-eyed crazy monster things from D D. what's the thing that's like a floating it's like a floating mouth but then it has like tentacles with eyes on the end of them. I don't remember what that's called, but that was from D&D. I should have taken pictures. I'm there, I'm there uh, um, all the time. Beholder, that sounds right. That sounds right. Hold on, let me just look up what a beholder looks like. That's totally what it was. Yeah, that's totally what it was. Actually, I wonder if I can find a picture of the bar. Battery, Park, Dartmouth. Images, they might have... Oh, so the images are look like they're old. They don't have the heads on the taps that they used to. Um, but if you look up their social media, which I think on Instagram, I think it's just Battery Park. Let's see if I can grab this quickly for you. Uh, Battery Park Beer Bar and Eatery. I think that's the right... They don't look like they have, oh, that might be a good picture. Yep, here's a good one. Don't know if this is gonna show up in chat. We'll have to see. That might be, that might not, because it's a website, it might not be copy link. Yeah, zoom in on, zoom in on that image on Instagram and you'll see the heads along the taps on the wall on the left-hand side. Anyway, it's one of it's it's a walking distance from my place. It's a really really good spot. It's local. It's not a big chain. Um, I really really like it there. The servers are fantastic. I had a number of people that were there um, wishing me a happy birthday. I I think the I mean the pub paid for my beer. I think because it was my birthday party thing. I it was just they were all around just super incredibly nice and amazing and. Um, 
I mean, shout out to Jesse and Aaron, the two. Uh, I can't remember. There was one other server that was with us, and I can't remember her name, so I apologize. But uh, Jesse and Aaron are sweethearts and super awesome at what they do, and it was just really fun. <clears throat> but that's we go there every every month. Like that's where me and the boys get together once a month to hang out. Uh, thanks, Abu. Yeah, no, it was a good time. Um, I was just there last week, but this happened to be like there was a bunch of guys that couldn't make it last week, so they said, "Well, hey, we'll." And we couldn't make it out ahead of your birthday, but we can go like two days after. So that's what we did. So and I'm and there's a third guy <laughs> that couldn't hang out last night. So I'm going to hang out with him on Sunday, and I think we're going to be at Battery Park. So I don't mind giving them my business because they, it's good beer, it's great service, it's good food. Like it's just all around a really good spot. Again, doesn't matter for a lot of folks because, of course, you're not local <laughs> to Halifax, Dartmouth. But um, if you're ever in the city, I'm telling you. So my idea here is that we'll have stone going up here, but then it'll quickly, I think, switch over to other things. I don't know if that's a quick enough transition or if it's too fast or what, but we'll we'll work it out. That could be better off actually is maybe you have to do more green around here. That kind of a thing I think looks pretty good. And I think I like that transition. We'll um, we'll work on this part. Probably be a lot more uh, cracked and stuff. Juggernaut, thanks for the kind words. Appreciate you being here. Grandpa Crafter, hello, hello. The nine-month Keystone Badge, indeed. The Fire Keystone Badge, that's my favorite. It's weird that it's not at, at the end, at the 12-month, but I really, really like it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think we're going to make this look pretty beat up. Maybe we'll switch these. I didn't bring a lot of slabs. Do that like that, I guess. Whoops.
Might be worth putting a plant there. We'll see. So we'd want to do the same thing over here. I feel like we'd probably do the tough. Tough seems to be a really good transition between the stones and the grass walkways. Or not grass, the coarse dirt. Hmm. Whoops. That would be a good transition there. Maybe cobble. Yeah, I think that's working. Oh, that was better before. Kind of want to change this to something gray. So it looks like just a little bit more is pulled in that direction. Question a bit further up from Blank Benji. Thank you, Cosmic. I missed that. Uh, what do you drink, Joel? Uh, with an added note from Cosmic that also wants to know because I'm nosy. Uh, drinking, you mean like at the, at the pub? Or just like in general? At the pub. Uh, so we have, per capita, Nova Scotia has the most craft beer micro brews in the country in canada so there's a lot lot to choose from uh last night i had two beer that's usually my go-to at this particular place well it's it's known for its beer like you're gonna get beer from like north brewing and breton brewing and tatamagush and like all kinds of different breweries around the province uh but i had i don't remember where this one was from it might have been tusket falls but it was an american IP uh, American Pale Ale, so not it's sort of like an IPA, but a little a little different. Uh, not filtered, so it was a little bit foggier, and so hoppy, but not like crisp citrus hoppy. It was a little bit milder. Uh, and then I had a local beer from Halifax, which was a North Brewery Milk Stout. And normally I go with like an IPA because that's what I'm going to have with my burger. Uh, if you check Instagram, actually, instagram.com slash Joel Duggan, my story from last night should still be up. But I, I mean, I'm a typical generation X dork. I took a picture of my meal and the beer. And so you'll see the color, color of the beer and, uh, the burger and the poutine that I had, uh, which was, I mean, it was too much. I was very, very, very full. <laughs> it was far, it was far too much food. Um, but it was very good at the same time. So I was happy about that. Uh, but that's, that's what I had. And normally we go, we get a, I know a lot of the guys around the table got like a burger plate with uh, a beer or two. Peyton was drinking cider. Um, I normally start with an IPA and then I'll switch to a darker beer after. I don't do a lot of dessert when I'm out. So I tend to just go for something richer, like another beer. Um, but then if I'm out for more than two, I'll stick with the same thing. I don't go back and forth. Like if, if it's wintertime, I might just go all stout. If it's summertime, I might go all IPA, but 
uh, normally it would be like one or two IPA and I'll switch it up. Like I'll get an IPA from one brewery and then I'll try another one from another. One of the nice things about Battery Park is that you can order like a flight so you can get like a half pint of like four beer or five beer or something like that. And you can ch- choose a bunch of different ones to try. Or if you couldn't decide, like I couldn't decide between tap six and tap 12 last night. So our server brought me over a testing sample. Just like, it's just like a sip of each one. And so then I decided they were very, very similar actually. So I just, but I decided on, on the, uh, the American over the other. I'm only realizing now, even though I talked to my father all morning because we were hanging out for coffee, I, um, I didn't realize how raspy my voice was until just now. It's, uh, it's Joel Vizen, uh, villain time. Uh, I want some slabs. Those. Do I have mossy slabs? I do. This is what I'm missing. <laughs> I'm about an octave away from smooth jazz radio. Really? That far? I thought it was closer. I probably could do it if I was really, really pushing it. Have you guys seen the, um, the, uh, you it's it's not youtube clips i think it's like um it's either fortnite or apex legends or something and there's a guy that works in radio but he plays group like first person shooters uh as like a as a um as a hobby and people recognize his voice they're like man you've got such a nice voice like you got such a cool voice dude and he's like thank you you know and <clears throat> I say I say this as my voice goes raspy and 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 flat, but um, they're like, "Wait a minute, are you are you the ninety six point seven guy or like whatever the radio station is?" And he's like, "Maybe," and then he'll like drop into like the you've been listening to ninety six point five, blah 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 blah. Like he'll do his whole spiel, and then the people that are on mic with him on the first person shooter game just lose their minds. It's like hearing it come out of another human in real time on a video game for whatever reason is just it blows their mind that's pretty funny if you look up a uh, radio announcer plays you know first person shooter you could probably find it oh right we were supposed to put a path in over here weren't we Yeah, in general, I I drink uh, IPA. I have um, a couple of breweries locally. I like Breton Brewery. Uh, they're in Cape Breton, so they're not like local to the city, but they're local to the province. And I really like North. Um, their Malternate Reality IPA is um, hoppy, but like just a little bit more on the malty side, which is very good. I quite like it. Uh, that's actually going to change, I think.
think that looks pretty good. Maybe that should be something gray. Sure. How do I do this other one? It was a lot of, a lot of packed mud, mostly packed mud, actually. Tin Mirren, subscribing at tier one, 18 months. Thanks so much, Tin Mirren. Really appreciate it. Feels pretty good. Am I out of cracked? I am out of cracked bricks. Oh, the Nightbot command does need updating, doesn't it, Cosmic? Yeah, we're on 1.20.4. What's for dinner, Tin Mirren? Anything good? I mean, dinner is almost always good. I'm always, I'm always excited for dinner, but curious. Limited texture. Uh, because of slabs. I do have stairs that I can mess with too. I don't have to do just, just slabs. Cause that's a full block. So technically if I wanted to change the shape of this a little bit, we could maybe come in here like that. This is where I really want uh, tough slabs. We don't have those yet. Mm. Mm. 
I wish there was a way to make paths like this uh, dirty without doing like an entire block of dirt. I kind of wonder whether a slab would look good here. You know, that's not bad. That's not terrible. I would love to turn that into a cracked slab, of course. Here's another spot where it might be better to have a stair. Do I have the right kind though? I don't. What do you think about the copper changes with trapdoors and doors? You mean the the major changes that are coming with 1.21, Dan? Or has there was there a change this week in the in the snapshot or anything? I haven't caught up. I'm really behind. I've had other things on the go, so I have not caught up. If there was no, no, there was a snapshot. There was no snapshot yesterday, right? They announced that there was not going to be a snapshot yesterday. That's what I remember. Bedrock beta, uh, not. I'm not up to speed. Um, fill me in and chat. What are the what are the changes that they've made? I need more space. <clears throat> At your props. I hope I'm saying that right. Welcome in. That is a mouthful. Uh, no longer copper blocks to make trap doors. So be more specific. What instead of copper blocks are you using to make trap doors? Are you using copper ingots now? You're using ingots instead, right on. I mean, I think that makes sense. I feel like that's a good change. So one of the nice tricks about using a staircase here is that it helps actually curve this a little bit different. So it feels more like you have to turn this way to go up the stairs, which I like. So we'll keep that. I guess this should probably be a little bit rounder. You go, go go by Pops as a nickname? Sure. That is, that's a lot easier. Not a problem.
feel like that looks pretty good. It feels a little busy. I don't really have much of a flow going. That's pretty good. I wish I had more um, room down here. Be like, hmm. No, I guess it was better before. I almost want this to have like a dirt part to it. Nope, never mind. Oh, maybe this could be a bush. That could be a sunken bush that might work out. What am I not using that much of right now? I guess the mangrove wood. Bone meal. So all I'm doing with the textures here is trying to do a little bit of a pull. So when you're coming in from the side, the textures sort of like go to the right, right? So it's kind of like making you look a little bit this way. I shouldn't say making you, very subconsciously suggesting that you look to the, to the direction I want you to. I don't know if we need more dirt down here or no, maybe some tough. Maybe that's what I'm missing. Hmm. Nope. Never mind. I lied. I was wrong.
Maybe gravel? Yep, but I'll switch it. <laughs> Clips Joel saying I was wrong and sets it at the ringtone. I see how it is. That's going to come back to haunt me. I think that feels pretty good. I think I like the the stone path instead of instead of the dirt path. The only thing I don't like is that I feel like it doesn't have a very strong border right here. So I feel like we need to change that a little bit. I feel like these two blocks need to be This needs to have a better edge. I feel like that bush can probably be a little bit bigger too. as good as I thought it was going to. the right block for that. All right. Elcorn 95, the 12 month gift subscription courtesy of Cosmic Dancer has entered month eight. Thanks for the shout out for Cosmic Elcorn. Cosmic, thank you ever so much for that gift sub for Elcorn. The mighty Elcorn has returned. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I'm, I want to see if I can squeeze in a patch of dirt up here somewhere. I feel like maybe here. I definitely feel like I lose the stairs. Like I can't see the edge of the stairs very well going down. This has got a nice edge, but I feel like this feels kind of undefined. I wonder if it just needs maybe more here. 
So maybe we'll switch these ones. Yeah, that feels a little bit better. And then I'll switch these two. I wonder if an acacia log would work up here. That helps a little bit. Blank Benji, thanks for the lurk. I appreciate it. All right, so we're going to put all of this away for now. Keep that and I'll ditch that. And I want. Flowers, azalea, regular azalea. Acacia, carpets, lots of moss, and I guess that's it. All right, I'm a tad early, uh, but I'm, I'm about halfway through the time I have for today. So I'm going to run and grab a quick break. I normally do this uh, once an hour, but we're just a few minutes shy of that now. Gives me a chance to refresh the water. Gives you a chance to grab a snack, maybe even tell a friend that we're live. And uh, I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
So I want to try to add some greenery to the front part of the uh, the walk here, but I realize I don't have enough inventory space to do it. So I think I can probably ditch some of the stairs for now. I'm going to want ferns and grass at the bushes. I'm thinking this needs to be a little bit darker. And I'm wondering if doing this will help. Yeah, I think that works pretty well. Not sure about two of them. I think maybe one was enough. Maybe we can squeeze it in over here. I don't know. Maybe it would be better if it was an azalea bush. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. I think that works pretty well. helps a bit. I'm thinking maybe this has to be a different color. Although maybe brown would be the better choice. Yeah, I think that that smooths that a little bit. Sungo and an 88, welcome in. So along here, I was thinking I want to put some grass maybe. Oh, I left my shears over here. <clears throat> Not sure when this may have been mentioned in chat with Nightbot, but uh, I'll remind everybody that there's an option if you want to support the channel to set up a monthly Streamlabs donation. It goes through PayPal. Uh, Streamlabs doesn't take a cut at all. It's just a small, small uh, PayPal processing fee. And then uh, that tip is something that gets automatically renewed. So if it's something that you're looking to do, then it's a great way to support the stream. And I very much appreciate it. This is where I need the bone meal. Sheer forgetfulness. I like what you did there, Elkhorn. Well played. That is indeed what happened. Oh, that does not look good on top of that.
Cosmic Dancer. Well, will you look at that? This is my three-year anniversary of this, apparently. The three-year anniversary of Cosmic setting up a $10 a month Streamlabs monthly donation. Thanks very much, Cosmic. And that reminds me, when you do that, uh, you get a toast that you can play in chat. So every month when that donation goes through, you can actually um, play the, the notification in chat. Thanks very much, Cosmic. That's amazing. That's pretty good. Sure. I like that tall fern. I think that helps give that a little bit of a border. Still not sure about this area here. That's too much. Sometimes I really wish we had short, like half grass would help a lot. I don't know if this is going to look good as a bush. A little bit too similar to what's happening up there, maybe. Maybe what I need to do is drop this down. In there. Doesn't help from down here, but it helps, I think, as far as this view from the top is concerned. Yeah, I like that. This might actually be better off as acacia. Maybe they both are. Just try to make it look different than the bush. I know there's giant holes in it, but it, to me it looks like kind of like rough, like thistles or crabgrass, like that kind of stuff that you wouldn't necessarily consider like lawn, but just roughage, I guess, kind of around your your front area, your front walkway. Sorry about the age guess on Monday. Oh, I was just teasing you, Elkhorn. I was just giving you a hard time. No ages in chat, but but we won't. Uh, I, it's a weird number this year. That's all I'll say. It's a weird number this year. I don't normally pay any attention to that kind of stuff, but for whatever reason this year, it kind of stuck out. That looks pretty good. Actually, I think I prefer that one. Yeah. All right, that's the green stuff done. At least the upper parts. 
Now what I want to do is I want to work on the wall. It is weird, yeah. It kind of snuck up on me. It kind of snuck up on me. Actually, what's weirder, we were talking over beers last night, the guys and I, and we were discussing that the start of the COVID pandemic was four years ago. Like that to me is just wild. I think that's one of the reasons why the last four or five years have just sped by because like two to two and a half of it, depending on what country you were in, was seriously disrupted by by COVID. And may still be, depending on where you are. All right, I think we're done with the green stuff for now. Thirty was the one that hit you really hard, Elkhorn. Yeah, I, I talked about it with my friend Britt, and we decided that thirty wasn't so much. Thirty was celebratory, but twenty-nine was weird. Like the leading up to the eventual thirty, we thought was was more of a brain twisting experience. I don't know whether to make these special. We did this over here. <clears throat> so I've got the kind of the capstones on the walkway are special. I don't know if I want to do that over here. I like the smooth stone. Maybe I need to do the smooth both like over and under like maybe they have to be smooth down the bottom too polished i should say and maybe remove this one So I feel like the cracks read as the darkest, I guess. I would like to have some slabs here. Not all over the place, but like every once in a while would be nice. Yeah, I feel like that kind of helps add a little bit of variety. 
We'll have a little bit of it blocking the flowers at first. That might not actually be the best place for that. Maybe we'll knock this back by one. Yeah, it doesn't block the flowers as much. And then if we're going off the logic of having something special on the end, we can go back here and do like this and then that. And I could probably replace that with a stair or I could just leave it like that. I feel like that looks pretty good. Way for night. Hello, hello. Might be a little bit too regular. Maybe we can just get rid of this one here. Yeah. The problem there, of course, is that we've got to figure out what to do on this side with all of this stuff. But I like I like that look. So maybe we can work in something like that. Places where there's no um, little high points on on the wall, maybe we can add in more of that. And then maybe here we could add in like low points. Of course, I put the green stuff away, didn't I? Darn it. I guess we could have like rocks there too. That's not bad. We'll come back to that. We'll come back. <clears throat> All right, let's do the other part of the wall, which is down here. This has got some textures, but I think at the time, I don't think I had the cracked deep slate. There's no deep slate pressure plates, right? Pretty sure no.
<laughs> Dear Mojang. Yep. 100%. Here again, we might want to think about doing something special on the wall. is a blackstone pressure plate you are right but uh i don't think that would match the deep slate very well i find blackstone really has um a lot of purple in it which is unfortunate because i don't think it goes very well with anything outside of building with all of the nether blocks which is probably the idea behind it but at the same time it's kind of a pain So this may or may not stay. Uh, I feel like what we'll do here is maybe, um, actually that was probably exactly what was needed. Have that sink down like that. So I'm trying not to go around the whole thing just yet. I just want to kind of get like this approach sorted. It's starting to feel more like a cohesive thought, I feel. I think I need to come in here and take out some of the the flowering azalea. Just every once in a while, I have a regular green azalea, but I think that looks pretty good. We need to uh, add in some uh, moss carpet and grass and stuff along here, obviously. Yeah, so I hadn't really thought about that. It's only this little bit here. I feel like that's working pretty well. Not so sure about the jungle leaves. I feel like we want to replace those. Yeah, I think that's that's working. Again, I wish we had at least a little bit more height variation, but I don't want this wall to be ginormous, right? I like the idea of seeing this ledge here, so we'll do that.
that looks pretty good. Now, this stuff underneath, I think that's from the previous wall. So we'll probably push that a little bit farther. And this is where we could maybe use a stair or something. And then we'll probably end up changing these bushes as well. No, I think that has to stay there. Pretty good. Maybe we'll drop this down. Weird. It's like six and one half dozen there. Not sure which one I like, so we'll do it that way. All right, so that takes care of all of that front facing wall. My time zone calculations are correct. It should be around 3 p.m. your time. Thank you very much, Cosmic, appreciate it. Yeah, I'm definitely using a lot of these cracked deep slate bricks. They work very well. I had planned to use more tough, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Now in some places along here, we can maybe add in like a little bit of a, a depth bit, you know? just to make it look a little bit more dense. Well, I can check that box, learn something new today. What, what box is that? You mean the Blackstone pressure plates? The darker wall is a nice contrast with the greenery. Thanks. Yeah, I think so too. I guess we could try wooden orders here, but I don't want to retool my entire inventory right now. This feels pretty good. This could be maybe better, but we haven't done the textures on this path at all, so. Blackstone pressure plates do not currently exist. Yes, they do. We just looked at them. Right there. Blackstone, polished blackstone pressure plate. So yeah, if you're splitting hairs, it's a polished blackstone pressure plate instead of a blackstone pressure plate. But there's a pressure plate. But there's no, um, there's no deep slate pressure plate.
What do I want to put back? Let's put back uh, that. No, let's go dirt. We'll haul back on these for now. Because I want azalea. Flowering azalea. A little bit more moss and my acacia leaves. I just need sunlight to do my work. That's all I ask. All right. So what I wanted to do and check over here was more of this like um, dropped uh, sort of like thistle looking stuff. Yeah, I think I like that better. Then the rocks. Whoops, put that back. I think I might even like the uh, acacia better if that's the case. Helps give a border to the path. Oh yeah, no, that's a huge difference. Yeah, I think that works. I don't think one would go there. No. Hunter triple five subscribing for 41 months. That's amazing. Thanks so much, Hunter. Really, really appreciate it. I like all that. Could probably get away with another one back here. Kind of wondering whether I could switch this. Yeah, it's a little bit better. I'd love to put one there, but I want to line them all up. I feel like they need to be a little bit more spaced out. And nothing over here, although we could start to drop them down here. That could start to work. I did it over here, right? I think I like it better without the grass. Maybe we'll drop that in there.
Oh, you always think of something that you didn't bring over. I think that's pretty good. Don't think we need anything over there. I guess I could try something here. Yeah, I mean that works. So one of the things here that would be nice might be Switching one or two of these over. Like just creating a little bit of variety. Oh, these don't have the bottoms on them. Never mind. I don't want to get into all of this because I don't have the time. Okay. Well, I think that's a pretty successful texture pass on this front walk. I'm still not sold on these. I, I might want to change those to something a little bit more special, but I don't know what I would do. Realize I've made a mistake here. I don't have the block to fix it. Should be polished there, I think. Um, maybe I'll change these into chiseled. You know what? Let's just do it. Let's try these and those. This might get repetitive, I don't know. I don't know about that. It feels very tribal. Yeah, not sold. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So the next thing we'll do uh, will be uh, probably finalizing these front gardens here. So there's some work done that needs to be done there. This got a quick pass, but I think we can probably tighten this up. Uh, and then we have to finish up the textures on these bushes and the walls done around the front. Obviously we have to run the wall around the whole place with the textures, um, but we're gonna take what I've done here, I think, I like this and we're just going to pull this down around the side and yeah that's i think that's all we really have to do up close to the farmhouse obviously we've got to texture these paths but that's just a matter of getting some mud and some uh or packed mud and some um rooted dirt and just kind of going around um i haven't really been paying much attention to the extra lilacs that we planted i think everything looks good but i uh I don't know, it looks a little bit strange maybe on the map. So we haven't really been looking in that area. So that'll be the last thing that we tweak. I really like this front garden and I really like what we've got going on here. Uh, I'm just looking forward to having a smoother transition, uh, but this feels good. This feels pretty good. I mean, I guess that could maybe be gravel, but beyond that, we're doing pretty well. Cool. Uh, I am going to pass you all along to somebody playing Minecraft on Twitch. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow. That's Friday at 1 o'clock Atlantic. We uh, stream every Friday, Saturday and Sunday at 1. And uh, soon, because this was just ordered the other day, 
uh, I will be able to start the Friday Lego Let's Chats up again because I have ordered the Lego UCS TIE Interceptor. So that's coming back. So the, and that's like a 2000 piece set. So that those Friday streams are going to be back uh, strong, I think. That should be pretty fun. Uh, we're going to pass you on to Scotsman UK, member of this community, a very, very talented builder in Minecraft. Really chill stream hanging out over there in the UK. I think you'll enjoy yourself. Uh, you can listen to the Spawn Chunks and the Citadel Cafe podcast. They're both free and uh, available wherever you listen to your podcasts, including YouTube. Uh, there's a new episode of both of those out right now. You can, of course, follow me on social media at Joel Duggan and follow me here on Twitch, as well as on Patreon, where I uh, get funding to do this kind of stuff. If you enjoy the streams, if you get some value out of it, if you learn something today, then consider putting a little bit of value back in. It's only $2 a month. It's less than a cup of coffee. And uh, it goes a long way to keep me streaming. So thanks very much, folks. Thanks for the subs. Thanks for the support. Thanks to Cosmic for the moderation. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye for now.